Okay, transformations consist of translations, reflections, and rotations. Translations slide. Okay, that SL is for slide. Reflections, that FL is for flip. They flip. And rotations, the T is for turn. All right, with a translation, um, well, when we start off with any ordered pair, it's X, Y. And as um, they transform, the X and the Y change. So if I want to go up or down, then I'm going to change the Y. And if I want to go left or right, then I'm going to change the X. So for example, I could change this to be, say, X plus 3 would go, the X would go to the right 3, and Y minus 2, the Y would go two units down. So the translations is the one where it's going to add or subtract something. The reflection, we have the reflection over the X axis where the X stays the same and the Y turns opposite. And over the Y axis, where the X turns opposite and the Y changes the same. So this is how my reflections look algebraically. And then the rotations, the rotations are hard for me to keep up with. Um, I do remember the 180 degree one is when the X and the Y both change opposite. The 90 and the 220, um, kind of confusing. The X and the Y switch places and the X turns opposite for the 90 and the X and the Y switch places, and the Y turns opposite for the 270. So they're a little bit confusing to memorize, but there's some ways that you can um, work around that. Now the 180 rotation, the X and the Y stay in the same spot, but they both turn negative. So it's a little bit different than the reflections, because with the reflections, the X and the Y stay in the same location, but one of them turns opposite. With the 180, they both turn opposite. So I can kind of narrow it down just using that. All right, this transformation, it's going to be after a clockwise rotation of 180 about the origin, which in eighth grade, it's always about the origin, which algebraic representation can be used to obtain the coordinates of the new quadrilateral. Okay, well, I know this is a reflection because the X has changed opposite. So that's a reflection over the Y axis because the Y didn't change. Okay, and I remember this is a 180 degree rotation. And I remember these are either 90 or 270. But I don't really remember those off the top of my head. So if you can't remember this, just pick some points and use these points. All right, so if I pick Let's use this C coordinate. All right, so C is at negative two, positive three. And C prime is at positive two, negative three. So my 180 degree rotation has both of them changing to the opposite. So this was negative, now it's positive. That's what happens when I multiply by negative. This was positive, now it's negative. So I can tell the 180 degree rotation would be G. All right, for the transformations, Reflections are the ones that flip. So re reflections <laughs> flip. That FL is for flip. And rotations, that T is for turn.